Either you disagree with Enix Jimenez, or you disagree with Enix Commander. That is, either you think it's false that everything is composed of the infinite, the boundless, or you think it's false that everything is composed of something finite. So Enix Jimenez thought it was water, but he nevertheless thought that everything was composed of something finite, something definable. <clears throat> Today, we think it's, you know, atoms, right? <laughs> so, uh, either you disagree with Enix Amander, or you disagree with Enix Amander. Right? Now, rejecting a conclusion is fine. Right? That's your prerogative. But both conclusions are the products of deductively valid arguments. That means if the premises are true, then the conclusion must be true. If you reject a premise, excuse me, if you reject a conclusion, right, you have to show which premise is false. If the conclusion is false, then at least one of the premises is false. So we can't just reject a conclusion and walk away. We have to explain which premise is false and why. So here is the reconstruction of Annex Manor's argument. You've seen this before in an earlier video. Uh, you'll notice, right, there are several uh, premises in here, sorry, several propositions in here that have a parenthetical notation. Right? They have the, the parentheses with the two line numbers cited by a rule. And you don't have to know all of that. I put that there mostly for my benefit. <laughs> but also just to show you that there are rules of reason that give us these inferences. Right? So if you reject the conclusion that Annex Commander has given us, you have to reject one of the premises from which it's inferred. Now some of these, you know, some, you know, at some points along the way, he makes inferences to the final conclusion. Uh, so we can't just reject the inferences. We had to reject those premises upon which everything rests. Even if we reject an inference along the way, we have to reject one of the premises from which that inference comes. Right? So, uh, in his argument, you know, if we reject the conclusion, we have to reject the premises upon which everything relies in the argument. Here are the premises in Annex Amanda's argument from which everything relies, from which everything else is inferred. So this as a reconstruction of Annex Amenis' argument. Again, you've seen this before. We saw it in one of the earlier videos. And like with Annex Amanders, there are inferences made along the way. Uh, his entire argument relies upon, or his conclusion relies upon those premises that don't have any parenthetical notation. They're just, you know, they're taken as evidence, as uh, evidence in of itself. So here is the argument but that conclusion relies upon these premises. Rejecting a conclusion commits you to rejecting a premise. That means you're rejecting a proposition. You're claiming some proposition is false. Well, that's not the end of the story either. <laughs> if you reject a proposition, you claim some proposition is false. You are logically committed to that proposition's contradictory. Right? Every proposition has a contradictory. You say a proposition is false, you're committed to its logical contradictory. Here's kind of a brief uh, schema for this. Right? We have propositions, different kinds of propositions, and their contradictories side by side. Both can't be true, both can't be false. If you reject one, you have to accept the other. So if you reject a conclusion, that's fine, that's your prerogative. But that means that you have to reject one of the premises. Right? And these premises are each propositions. If you reject the proposition, a premise, you are logically committed to its contradictory. So these are the premises upon which Annex Amanda's conclusion relies. As I just got finished talking about, if you reject a proposition, you are logically committed to its contradictory. If you reject these premises, then you are logically committed to these contradictories. These are the premises upon which Annex Amanda's argument relies, if you reject Annex Menace's conclusion, you had to reject one of the premises and you're logically committed to their contradictories. These are the contradictories. Incidentally, 
if you're if you are all convinced that 21st century is 21st century physics is on the right track, uh, you are committed to rejecting Anaximander's conclusion. So if if you think that the fundamental constituent of the universe is some sort of particle, right? That that's the theory of physics. Then you are committed to one of these uh, one of these propositions here. These contradictories to uh, Anaximander's premises. If you think Anaximander is right, that we are you know, fundamentally incapable of defining all the stuff around us, because, you know, ultimately because it's composed of the infinite, uh, then you, re you disagree with Anaximander and you're committed to rejecting uh, one of his pro premises, which means you're committed to one of these contradictories. Thank you.